Maybe I should buy Pants Prep Pearls and read that now so that I'm able to kind of like be ahead of the curve. And I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> there is gonna be more than enough studying when you actually start PA school. What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. So you guys, I am so happy because so many of you have been coming to me and saying, Adana, I got into PA school. And I'm like, yeah, you got into PA school. You got into PA school. That is the first part of the battle, you guys. So I'm so happy for all of you who have gotten into PA school. But now, now what? And that is what this video is gonna be about. Some of you, um, your acceptances are kind of delayed for a year. You may have gotten into PA school in January, but you don't start until the following January, or you don't start until the upcoming fall semester. And some of you, it's like May and it's right around the corner, or it is January and you got in in August and it's right around the corner. So now what do you do? So I am gonna give you five tips that you should do to prepare yourself for PA school. So I know many of you have asked me like, okay, so I just got into PA school. Do you think that it should, I should like, polish up on my anatomy and physiology? Should I be reading any books? Maybe I should buy Pants Prep Pearls and read that now so that I'm able to kind of like be ahead of the curve. And I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> there is gonna be more than enough studying when you actually start PA school. The one thing that you could do if you do wanna like just brush up on some stuff is your medical terminology because grad school slash PA schools anatomy and physiology and pathophysiology is nothing like what you did in undergrad. So even though you may be trying to brush up on stuff, it's gonna be a little bit helpful, but it's not gonna be super beneficial because you're gonna be learning a lot of this stuff from a PA medical standpoint. So it's better for you not to do that. So that to me is like the one thing that you should not do. You do not need to be sitting up here cramming in all the information that you can get before you get into PA school because there's gonna be enough time for that in your first year of PA school. All that year is gonna be didactic schoolwork and you're gonna be studying many, many hours out of the day. So give yourself a nice little vacation. Go on a honeymoon for yourself. Go travel the world, go relax with your friends on some beach and have a great time because you're not gonna be able to spend as much time with your friends when you're not in PA school. And that goes for family as well. And um, it's good for you to actually spend time with them now when you have the time because when you're in PA school, you're gonna feel a little less guilty because you got to share so many of those memories prior to PA school. The second thing that you should absolutely do is plan, right? So I know that um, not everybody is going to school in their like respective areas like you know a 50 mile radius of where they live so it's beneficial for you to actually go and look at the school's surroundings like try to map out where you want to live um and you know how much that might cost and start saving now start saving now 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 start saving now for pa school go ahead and make sure that you're saving so that that's one less thing that you have to worry about when you get to PA school. You don't have to worry about how I'm paying for my rent. You don't have to worry about who I'm you know, living with. You can go on the different PA school forum boards for that particular school and find a roommate. I know many of the students in my cohort actually did that, which I mean, I think is kind of crazy because like you don't know this person at all, but I guess that's just kind of like, um, you know, undergrad anyways, you kind of like, stuck with who you're stuck with for that year. So um, if that's something that you're willing to do, you know, bunk up with a stranger, go ahead and do so. But plan, make sure that you have things already set and in motion. My number three thing, right? My school has a dress code. We are professional dress. Um, so, you know, you can't have like skirts above your knee. They have to be past your knee. You can wear slacks. You can't wear like leggings or jeans unless it's dress down day. So that's something that our school has. Not every school has a dress code where it's professional dress, but my school does. And if your school has a dress code, that is something that you might wanna look into. I mean, even if it doesn't have a dress code, you might wanna just look bomb and nice for PA school. So go ahead and look at your school's website, make sure that they have a dress code or don't have a dress code. And if you have things that fit into that dress code, 
it doesn't matter. Go ahead and treat yourself, okay? Go on a nice little, not like super big spending spree, but go and get some new clothes for PA school. So make sure that you look at the website and see if they have a dress code. If they do, make sure that you're in compliance with that dress code, okay? I know that a lot of you were sitting up here and you're like, man, okay, so I'm, I just got into PA school. Um, I don't know what, like, what do I need? Like, should I go ahead and, you know, buy this stethoscope or this? That's one thing that you absolutely could go ahead and do. Make sure that you have your equipment ready for PA school. I know that um, some schools put out an equipment list for you and you're like, welcome package, I guess you could say. Or you can call the school ahead of time if you'd like and say, hey, is there any equipment that I need for PA school? I'm pretty sure they have the list already and you might be able to go ahead and get that beforehand. But go ahead and do that. Get your equipment. Go ahead and get yourself a nice new spiffy Littman stethoscope. So that's something you can look into and make sure that you have that already set and ready. I know when I got my, picked out my stethoscope, I was super excited. So um, that's one thing that you could definitely splurge on because you're gonna be using it for pretty much the rest of your career. And Littman stethoscopes have a, a lifetime warranty. So you definitely, it's a good investment because it will be with you throughout your career. And last but not least, purchase some new equipment. If your computer is like on its last leg, please y'all, please, please, please go ahead and get yourself a new computer, okay? You can't be going into PA school with your computer conking out while you're trying to take a test. I mean, I know our class, like we have like different, all of our, pretty much all of our tests are on the computer. So if you're using the software that they require you to download on it, sometimes with respect to the type of computer that you have, it runs a lot slower. If your computer is older, it runs slower. So while you're clicking, like you're clicking A and it might be hitting C, you know, you're not trying to mess up your grade in PA school. So definitely make sure that your equipment, your computer equipment is up to par when it comes to PA school because that's one thing that you don't want to be like worried about when you're taking your test and then your computer shuts down and it's like added more stress to your life. Getting into PA school is great and it's fun but initially it's stressful so all these little five tips that I gave you are just easy ways to help you de-stress your life, right? So make sure you go ahead and get some new equipment, check your school's website, make sure that you can beforehand know what medical equipment you'll need. Also, you wanna make sure that you know the actual dress that you need. Do you need specific dress code or not? And if not, um, if you don't have that, go ahead and buy it. Spend time with your friends and family, y'all. That is like my the biggest thing that you could possibly ever do. Make sure you spend time with your friends and family, go on a vacation, have a great time and relax. It's all about relaxing before PA school because you know what? You're gonna be studying a lot when you get into PA school, so enjoy your time before PA school. So that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you take my suggestions into consideration because I want you to enjoy yourself before the storm hits. <laughs> That is PA school. Um, it's a rocky road, but y'all, you, you will be fine. You'll make it. Uh, just get yourself an umbrella so you can weather the storm. Um, but congratulations, congratulations to all of you who have gotten into PA school, who have started PA school, um, and who's preparing to actually enter into PA school within these next coming months. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!